Hey you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I will be giving you my final thoughts and review of IEW Structure and Style Level 1A. Um, I'm so excited, you guys, to bring to you my final thoughts and my final review of IEW Structure and Style, especially after we have completed this entire writing program this homeschooling year. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, I'm Brittany. I'm a homeschooling mom to three girls and I'm wrapping up my third year of homeschool. So you guys, I just want to give you like a few uh, disclaimers before I start today's video. I am a part of IEW's affiliate program. However, in this video, all of my thoughts and my opinions are all of my own. No one is paying me to say anything specific about IEW structure and style. I will be giving you guys my honest review and my honest thoughts of this program since we have completed it and some of the cons that I did have with it. But overall, you guys, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a little spoiler. I am really, really happy with uh, IEW Structure and Style. I'm really happy with the progress and my daughter's writing throughout this whole um, homeschooling year. Uh, this program really, um, it benefited me and my homeschool in a very special way. And this actually has to be like my favorite piece of curriculum we have used this homeschooling year. So I'm going to go ahead and let you know that I do already have on my channel the flip through of the IEW student binder and of the teacher teacher's manual. I have that video on my channel. I also have a video of IEW Structure and Style, my initial review after completing this program for 30 days. And then I also have another video on my channel of IEW, how we actually implemented this program, how a week of IEW looked in our homeschool. So I think what I'm going to do for you guys is I'm going to go ahead and put all of my IEW videos in a playlist. So if you want to see any of those specific topics, you will be able to go ahead and kind of like binge watch that playlist um, to see if IEW will be a good fit for you in your homeschool this upcoming year. So you guys, um, I'm going to try my best to like keep this video short and concise. I do have some notes. So if you see me looking down, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at my notes I made for this video. I'm not even going to like front it because <laughs> I have so much I want to say. And um, I just want to make sure I'm able to really give you guys a very thorough uh, review. So uh, first and foremost, um, what skills do I recommend your kiddos having before starting IEW Structure and Style? Now, IEW Structure and Style Level 1A is geared for uh, grades three through five. However, if you have a middle schooler in a sixth grade that has never went through the IEW Structure and Style program, they do recommend all students begin at the level Structure and Style Level 1A. However, I do think it's some prerequisites before starting this program that that, um, I think would create will make this program be a little bit easier for your kiddos to uh, follow through and um, I think it will kind of like eliminate that initial challenge in a writing curriculum I definitely would say the kiddos need to know how to do like a basic par paragraph with a topic sentence three detailed sentences and a concluding sentence uh, basic punctuation and capitalization I definitely feel like they need to know to capitalize uh, all the uh, letters at the beginning of their sentences periods question marks. Now, as far as commas, I would say not to worry too much about that because they will be learning about commas in uh, the writing program, IEW Structure and Style. And then also too, something that elevated the program for us was that uh, my daughter actually took typing last year. So she was able to type out all of her papers, like her final copies of her papers because she already knew how to type. Now they can practice like typing skills while doing this if you do want them to type up their papers. If not, they can just like handwrite all all of their uh, compositions at the end of the week. It's just really up to you. But I really liked my daughter practicing like on the computer, actually like typing up her formal papers. So this IEW structure and style, you guys, this is actually broken up into seven units. The first unit is uh, note making and outlines. The second unit is writing from notes. The third unit is retelling narrative stories. The fourth unit is summarizing a reference. The fifth unit is writing from pictures. The sixth unit is summarizing multiple references. And then the last unit in this uh, IEW structure and style is inventive writing or creative writing. And then they end off the entire uh, program with a timed essay. So, um, 
that is kind of like the breakdown of this program it is broken into 24 weeks however a quick suggestion that i will have you guys do is in the beginning of your teacher's guide you will have like this paper right here of all of the downloads you're able to access once you purchase iew structure and style and in the downloads that you're able to access you will be able to print off this uh 30 week um adapted schedule where it already has each of the weeks laid out for you to complete over 30 weeks of time and because uh for me in the state of georgia our uh, criteria is 36 weeks of um homeschool i was really able to kind of like take this schedule and adapt it to our overall um school year and i was really able to like mimic it a lot because i didn't want us to be doing like iew over our christmas and holiday break so i was able to take that like six week buffer that i had to take off weeks like in uh during november and december and then really hit it hard when it came to like January, February and things like that in our second semester. So um, that is like a little tidbit I definitely will suggest you do. Another suggestion I will say is that a lot of you guys ask me, do you need to actually purchase the teaching portion of the IEW Structure and Style? I'm going to go ahead and pop a picture of how it looks. I think it's called Teaching Structure and Style. I'm not too sure, but I will let you know, I actually was able to complete this whole program with my daughter without actually going through the parent-teacher portion. What I did was I actually sat in at least for the first unit with my daughter to kind of like uh, let Andrew Pudawa teach me the structure and style of writing so I will be able to really be an aid for my daughter as we were kind of like learning a new style of writing so um the teacher's manual definitely will hold your hand in helping you aid your kiddos in right in this uh writing curriculum however uh I found by just sitting in and watching the videos with my daughter it really helped us out especially with me being new to the program so uh I really don't think you do need that uh teacher's teaching structure and style uh, manual unless you absolutely want it i found that i was actually okay with just sitting in on um the videos Another suggestion that I'll have before starting the program is to get you like a little sheet online of some proof mark, proof reading or marks. Uh, because in IEW Structure and Style, they don't have like any like edit marks. And I really forgot like all of the edit marks uh, when uh, editing like uh, writing assignments and things like that. So I had to like familiarize myself with like some proof reading marks and I just laminated mine. So at the end of each week when I was editing my daughter's paper, I had uh, kind of like a point of reference to to uh, look at when um, editing her papers. So you guys, now let's go ahead and get into my pros and my cons of this overall program. So my first pro of IEW Structure and Style is that I really feel like this program really took the pressure off of me as far as giving like my daughter formal writing instructions. Uh, writing is really like my weak area when it comes to uh, homeschooling and things like that. And I knew I needed a curriculum that was really going to hold my hand in teaching her formal writing. So um, I really like that all of the instructional uh, pressure was taken off of me I was really just coming in on the back end as like editor and as like helping uh, aid her throughout this program uh, one thing I definitely will say is that um, if you're doing this with an upper elementary kiddo my daughter uh, was in the fifth grade when we did this program um, I really felt like she was able to work through this program very uh, independently and she didn't really need me much after we went over like that first unit together she was able to really uh, go online, uh, start up her videos. She was uh, familiar with the weekly uh, checklist that they gave us each week for how we were doing each of the assignments. So um, after we kind of like got over that initial hump of getting used to the curriculum, she was like off on her own. And it really uh, gave me like, I guess, a sense of peace. Um, one Another thing I really, really liked about it, again, like I said, is this teacher's manual, you guys, is very specific in the instructions. The teacher's manual also has like, all of the notes that Andrew Pudawa has in the video lessons. So if it's any point that your kiddos may have missed something, uh, you can always point them back to your teacher's manual with like all of the class notes and things like that, which was really, really helpful. Um, 
And the other thing that I really liked about this program is I liked how simple and gentle the program started off. To really be honest, you guys, when we first started this IEW Structure and Style, I really thought that I picked the wrong level for my daughter uh, because it started off very, very easy. But I think that um, the program is built that way to really uh, build the kiddos' confidence when it comes to writing. And uh, now that we have completed the program, I'm really happy that they kind of like eased uh, the kiddos into the uh, formal writing and instruction um, and after they completed each week it was uh, really amazing to see how um, those building blocks was building on uh, each other uh, when it came to like all of their writing um, something that I really really appreciate was all of the stylist stylistic techniques and the dress-ups that IEW used uh, in or throughout the whole writing program now I know all these stylistic techniques and things like that they will be using it in the later programs because this is the first level I know in each of the levels they will build off of the previous level before so it was really really nice to see um, her papers uh, become stronger and stronger as she was learning the different stylistic techniques now uh, Brielle actually told me that the stylistic techniques was uh, the most challenging part of IEW because it really got her out of the box when it came to uh, writing her papers especially when it came to like the band words adding her ly adverbs she had her who which because clauses and her her, um, which clauses she had her topic clinchers and sentence openers her prepositional openers so towards the end of the uh, writing program it was just amazing uh, all of these foundational skills that they taught taught them to like really make their papers really really strong and um i was really really uh proud of brielle for all of the effort and the hard work that she put into this program especially when it became challenging during like the second half of the program now the first half of the program brielle really breezed through it but that second half uh it, we really began to take our time some of the weeks we uh took two weeks to do uh towards the second part of this program and I'm really, really happy that we did uh, slow down on those harder weeks so she can really uh, gain the skills that Andrew Pudawa was teaching. Now, I definitely will say Andrew Pudawa is a great instructor. Um, a lot of times, you guys, I would hear Brielle upstairs uh, laughing while she was uh, working on her IEW and listening in on the videos. Um, it was really, really funny, like uh, seeing her uh, really enjoy this writing program. And um, he really has a knack for what he does and he's very engaging. Um, especially the videos that I sat in on um, they were really really good and I'm really really um, happy with the quality of the videos as well now uh, for the video streamings that comes with IEW you can do either the uh, forever streaming or you can get the DVDs I decided to go ahead and do the forever streaming since I do have like really good internet access where I am at so um, I will always have the streaming portion so if I do want to go ahead and do this program again with my younger kiddos I will have every Thing that I need I may need to buy like another student pack but other than that like I would be ready to go for multiple children's um one thing I will say is that IEW really gave Brielle like a lot of confidence when it came to her writing now. Uh, Brielle is a strong writer, but um, she's a strong writer when it comes to creative writing. Uh, she uh, really uh, worked on creative writing for her third and her fourth grade year. So coming into this program, already having her voice in writing was a uh, really key for us to be very successful in this program. Um, I definitely will say when it came to Brielle actually writing like more structured paragraphs, like if I was to give her a topic and say hey Brie write me a paragraph about zebras and do uh, some research on zebras she would clam up on me and I noticed her doing that a lot in the fourth grade and I knew uh, that I did want to go ahead and add in like this structure so she wouldn't clam up when she was given like a specific topic I wanted her to be able to translate her voice into specific topics that she was given because uh, writing is really going to be an essential skill for her just from now high school college uh, really uh, from now until you know <laughs> the end of her adult life uh, writing is just really really important and I knew I wanted her to be able to translate those things um, on paper and I didn't want her to clam up and I knew I really had to target those areas and I definitely will say after completing structure and style uh, I am able to 
translate different writing assignments throughout uh, the courses of our other subjects, especially when it comes to like history and science. I was able to translate all the things that she learned in IEW this year uh, when she was writing a uh, small paragraphs in science or small paragraphs in history. And it was really amazing to see how fluid her writing became, especially uh, towards the end of the second semester. Um, she was just really writing uh, structured topics uh, easily. And um, she was just used to that process. And I really have to attribute that to IEW structure and style. Um, at the end of this program, there was a 20 minute timed essay that she had to do where uh, she had to make a quick outline for her uh, paragraphs and then she had to actually write them. Uh, they they said that the timing was optional but my daughter wanted to do the challenge and she ended up writing uh, three paragraphs in 20 minutes and it's just so crazy because I would never have thought that she was she would be able to do a timed essay like this especially um, when we began the program with her like clamming up when it came to structured writing. Um, um, this right here is like an attestament to how well this program actually worked out for uh, Brielle. Now, you guys, I have my list right here and um, I'm not even going <laughs> to act like I have this uh, all down. But as far as the cons of IEW structure and style, I definitely will say that the video lessons can be very lengthy. And if you are doing this with a younger kiddo, I definitely think you may want to like split up the videos and really make this program fit for you. Um, but because my daughter is older, she did have the stamina to sit in a longer video. And Andrew Pudua, like I said, he's very entertaining. So um, even though the videos was broken up into two parts, like so for one week, the video might be an hour uh, long. So she will do uh, part Part one will be 45 minutes and like the second part will be like an additional 20 minutes remaining. So um, it was long, but she enjoyed it. Um, so I definitely think that that is a con. Uh, another con I definitely will say is sometimes I felt like... Um, I needed a little bit more hand holding when it came to like actually editing her papers at the end of the week. Um, they do give you a checklist at the end of each week of uh, what you are looking for in the kiddos writings. Like here is an example of one of the composition checklists that I will have during this week to be able to use and what I'm looking for in her paper. But sometimes I felt like just this checklist wasn't enough for me to really check those like grammatical errors uh, that Brielle was working on this year. A lot of the errors that or the grammatical errors we was working on this year was like run on sentences, fragments, and uh, negatives. Double negatives was a lot of things that uh, we were working with in her writing. And um, sometimes I felt like I may have been a little bit too hard on her, um, but then I really don't know. So I definitely will say that that was like the most challenging part for me as parent was like editing her papers, uh, especially like when the kiddos are not used to you editing the papers. Um, I definitely got like a little bit of kickback when I was editing my daughter's work because she felt like when her work was getting edited that uh, she was doing it wrong. And I really had to explain to her the editing process and how it worked. And towards the latter end of the program, she began to get used to like uh, getting her rough drafts back and us going over it and like fine tuning her papers. But in the beginning, I felt like it was a hard hit for her to kind of see me really uh, critique her work because when it came to uh, her creative writing in her earlier years I just would say oh good job great story and I never really gave her constructive criticism but while we did the IEW structure and style um, I really uh, challenged her and sometimes I don't know if I was a little bit too hard on her so um, I definitely would have liked to see like more examples in the teacher's manual of maybe how they would edit a student's work and uh, the different uh, editing areas that I needed to specifically look for so that is like one of my cons um, another one of my cons is that I said this in my previous video when I did my initial 30-day review of IEW Structure and Style is that I really don't see uh, how IEW is really helping the kiddos with their own voice in writing. Um, and I heard from a lot of you guys on my channel is that IEW, especially like in the later years, they really work on the kiddos' voice in their writing. And in the beginning years, they're really just focusing on that um, initial structure. So I don't have any experience with any other levels other than this. But um, as you guys said, having that like that voice in writing is to come. But I do know having like their own 
voice and writing is really, really important. And I didn't really see it uh, in this level. However, I was able to take like the structure and the styles that he taught and translate it with my daughter and other writing assignments for her to uh, create her own voice by still using the guidelines that IEW gave. So um, I guess it was like a, a hit and a miss is what I definitely would say when it comes to the kiddo's voice in their writing. And the last thing I will say about IEW structure and style, you guys, is that IEW was the most expensive curriculum that I purchased this homeschooling year. And I definitely know you will hear that over and over again because this program is $169. And uh, do I feel like it was worth $169? Uh, at the beginning, I was questioning it. <laughs> but after we have completed this program, I feel like I got like every cent's worth out of this program. I feel like because my daughter was a lot older in doing this program, she was in like the last end of this level in the fifth grade I feel like I really was able to squeeze out every little bit of juice <laughs> that Andrew Pudawa was teaching and overall I am honestly more than pleased with the growth in her writing and um, I will continue with IEW structure and style throughout the course of our homeschooling year uh, now after IEW structure and style level 1a the next level is actually 2a but when I looked at the program and how Brielle is writing I decided to put her in and IEW 1B, which is the middle school level. Uh, the only difference between 2A and 1B that I seen was that the source texts are a little bit challenging in 1B than they are in 2A. But other than that, they are going to go over each like the same uh, stylus techniques in level 2A and 1B, if that makes any sense. So um, like I said in my curriculum picks videos, if you guys have already seen it, this IEW structure and style is really an honorable mention because I don't know if um, we are going to be able to commit to doing another level of IEW structure and style because the curriculum that we are using is heavy in writing. But um, if we do pick this up, we will pick it up either in second semester or the summer of her seventh grade year, we will go ahead and do a second level of IEW structure and style because I definitely seen like all of the benefits of this program. Um, I cannot end this video, you guys, <laughs> without talking about Fix-It Grammar. For this homeschooling year, we completed Fix-It Grammar, Book 2, Town Mouse and Country Mouse. And then we also completed Fix-It Grammar, Robin Hood. You guys, I love Fix-It Grammar. It's very, very short and effective. I definitely will say uh, Brielle is really, really good in grammar. So this, these two books was really a review for her. Um, she didn't really start learning new grammar skills until the second half of Robin Hood. But I'm really happy that I solidified those grammar skills skills for her and I definitely seen uh, by her using the fix-it grammar with the IEW program it was beneficial um, I don't know if you guys know this but at the back of IEW's uh, fix-it grammar there is a portion where the kiddos are uh, taking different strong verbs from the actual passages and they're making lists with all those strong verbs that they see and also like any quality adjectives and things like that and what Brielle was doing with these lists was she was taking these lists and using it with her um, IEW structure and style. So she was able to really get some inspiration from some of the strong verbs that she was finding in both of these fix it uh, grammar levels. So um, I'm definitely happy that we benefit or that we used that portion of fix it grammar because it very it paired very well with um, IEW structure and style. So you guys, this is my final review of IEW Structure and Style. It was absolutely worth it. I absolutely loved it. We had a few hiccups, but other than that, um, I'm pleased with this program. I really hope today I answered all of you guys' questions about IEW. If you have any more, just go ahead and leave them down below and I will try my best to get to all of you guys' questions. Um, but as always, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.